Drew, Mike Catherwood. Dr. Talk Drew. Radio. Talk Radio 790 KBC, yes, sir. We will get back to your calls, but first we're going to talk to Dr. Tiffany Standard, psychologist, a study that finds violent video games may be linked to aggressive behavior, as well as uh, some suggestion that constantly checking your mobile phone may affect cognition. Dr. Sanders, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, this issue of the connection between violent video games and aggression has been repeatedly studied over the last 10 years. What, is there anything new about this particular study? You know, it has been repeatedly studied, but what they did was they did a meta-analysis or, of the study. So they ah. combined all the studies and they removed out the studies that didn't necessarily fit the certain criteria to measure whether uh, video games contributed to violence. And by doing that, they came out with um, significant findings that continue to suggest that video games, violent video games, affects your child's aggression level, their cognitions, their emotions, their moods. And is there any specific sort of uh, quantification of what people can look forward to or particular patterns? Well, it, you know, there wasn't any sudden, anything specific within the study. It, what we should be looking at as parents or um, as psychologists as we, as we advise parents is that do you have an aggressive child already by nature? Do your, does your child have the temperament of, of a kid that's likely to get irritated or be hostile? So if that's the case, you may not want your child to be playing these games or even uh, uh, playing them on such a regular basis where they get addicted to it, and it rewrites on their brain those aggressive patterns that's more likely to make their kid just be more violent in the future. A- am I hearing you say that it is the kids that are at risk that are particularly susceptible to the aggression? Absolutely. It's the kids that are at risk. And then it's also the fact that when these kiddos are in schools and they're in smaller environments and they're likely to be triggered by anything, these kids can react in a way that they're um, playing out what they've probably watched um, or played on these video games. So it's just not a good uh, advice to have these kiddos uh, playing these video games on a regular basis. And how about the issue of cognition and the mobile phone? Well, you know, mobile phones and, and, and depression is pretty interesting. So there's a study that came out that says individuals who um, are more likely to be depressed, they're more likely to be at home, um, they're not going to be getting out. So it's, it's a very interesting real study. And so what we're trying to tell people is, you know, watch your mobile phone usage when you're depressed because it is an indicator of likely your, your mood, your emotions, and, and whether you're managing your depression very well. Oh, that's interesting. I knew there was some app coming that would help uh, determine whether someone's yes. affect was unstable. Uh, Dr. Yes. Sanders, is there a website where people can find you? Absolutely, www.drdrtiffanysanders.com. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate the report. Thank you for having me. Thank that you so Dr. much. Tiffany Standard, Sanders, our phone number is 800-222-5222. Michael, hang on here after the break. I'll get to your call. Mike Catherwood, Dr. Drew, Midday Live, Talk Radio, 790 KBC.